So we are at Uluwatu. Just came down the stairs from the surf villa and we're going foiling. It's a smaller day. First day of the trip for me and you know, got Alex here who's a foil lord from Australia. He has a leash, you don't. He has a leash, I don't. I should. It's recommended I usually for take sure. Off for sure, I hate using a leash. Tag goes off in the if face. We're, if we're going against that cliff there, it'd be pretty silly to lose your foil board first day on the rocks, look like a fool. Got the GoPro 360, I figure if we uh, ride a wave together, you know, you can just be like going under that cliff right there and just get everything, it. capture everything. And I got the trusty analog. With foiling, you don't, it doesn't necessarily look that great in slow-mo. It's all about like making yourself look fast. So 5K, 30 frames a second, looks pretty decent. Perfect, nobody out, temples, solo shash. Now Kyle in the house, take over, take over the mic. <laughs> Drop the mic. <laughs> Thought it was gonna be smaller and then I came here and it's like way overhead. It's actually like four foot now. So I'm going on a smaller wing, 700 square centimeters. Should do the trick. Of course, should have had a leash, but you know, when opportunities present themselves, you don't know what you're kind of getting into. Thought we were gonna go ride some open ocean swells, it would be all fun. And then all of a sudden we like 
went to the point and there was this like kind of overhanging cliff. We're like, oh, you can kind of get barreled by it. And closest thing to Teo Hupo'o here in Bali. Barreled by a cliff, just kind of tucked under and made a couple and felt good, but there was a lot of turbulence off the rocks and uh, paid the price. The biggest one came in and was trying to aim for it and get under it and hit like a boil or it might've been a piece of plastic. There's uh, so much trash out there. It was a beautiful place, but there's trash everywhere in the water. And so I like ventilated, exploded. And I was like, oh, I hope the foil just shot up the back. Didn't. It freaking sailed straight into this cave, the only cave out there and was eaten alive. And I'm like, well, foil session's done. I was wondering, I was like, this foil just went straight into this cave, the sharpest cave I've ever seen. And I'm like, when's low tide? Like it's the only way to get in there. And I'm like, by that time, this thing's gonna be in a billion pieces. But somehow another big wave came in like three sets later and it flushed it out. And, you know, I thought the thing was gonna be actually split in half and, you know, it's actually not bad. The board is borderline fixable. The foil could use some love, but uh, I didn't get cut. I didn't even touch a rock. Um, you know, it was just like kind of your heart drops when you lose something on the rocks, but play stupid games when stupid prizes. Oh, you know what? It bent the fuselage. Oh my gosh, dude, the fuselage. I was wondering what was going on. It bent it because I was like wheeling after I tried to foil it. I'm like, God, oh, it feels weird. Dude, the fuselage is like, this aluminum fuselage is like bending upwards. So I have way more back tail angle. So way more lift and yeah, it wasn't really working too good after that experience. It was worth it. I mean, that's like, the whole experience of being here is to push the boundaries of ourselves and definitely paid the price, but you don't know the limit till you find it. The Uluwatsu Surf Villas, place of magic and wonder, paradise. Even if you fell and lost your board and went into a cave and got destroyed. 